Today we are going to discuss about alloys in periodic classification of elements unit 8 chapter 8 in chemistry. So first you must know what is an alloy. So an alloy is a combination of metals. So combination of metals is called alloy or you can say in other words so the metal combined with one or more elements that also forms the alloys. So an alloy in one way it is combination of metals or the metal combined with one or more elements forms an alloy. The properties of alloys are often different from those of its components. So their properties was different from its components. Pure gold that is pure gold is a brittle to be used. So it is too soft. You cannot use the pure gold unless the copper is mixed with the gold. So if you want to make a ornament the gold was mixed with the copper. So to get why the copper is mixing with the gold because to get the strength and you can use it. The pure gold cannot be used as it is. So while mixing copper only it can be used and that is that the copper gives the strength to the gold. Okay and next what is an amalgam? So an amalgam is an alloy of mercury with another metal. So when the alloy of mercury is mixed with another metal an amalgam is formed. So what is amalgam? An alloy of mercury with metals. Okay, with another metal. So, an alloy of mercury is combined with another metal forms the amalgam. So, the that is, the alloys have the bonds. That bond is called. So, these alloy, how the alloy is mixing with another atom or metal. So, they are having a bonding. That bonding is called metallic bonding because two metals are going to join there. Because of that, the metals are bonded there and it forms a force. That force is called electrostatic force. And this electrostatic force gives the attraction of electrons which that is the electrons. So, they have an attraction. Why they have an attra attraction? The metal ions are positive charge. So the alloy had bonding, metallic bonding and they produces an electrostatic force. That force creates the electrons between them and these electrons are attracted through the electrostatic force because the metal ions are positive charge. So silver tin amalgam is used as dental that is dental filling so if you have cavities in your teeth you go to a dentist the dentist fill the cavity with your silver tin amalgam that is used as a dental filling so this they can ask in your one mark silver tin amalgam is used as dental filling next reasons for alloying why we are alloying to modify the appearance and the color. So the color and the appearance should be changed. To modify the chemical activity. So the activity is changed. To lower the melting point. High melting point can be come low using this alloy. To increase the hardness and tensile strength. That is the gold. Pure gold mixes with copper. It forms the hardness and strength. To increase the resistance to the electricity. Okay. So for these reasons. We need alloying and alloy. Okay. Methods of making alloys. How the alloy is make. make that is manufactured. How it is made. Okay. For example how the mother is cooking in your. Cooking uh, the uh, food. Like that. So there are two ways here. By fusing the metals together. So as alloy is a fusion of two or three. Two or more metals. No. So by fusing. You are fusing the metals. Okay. Example. So brass is an alloy. 
which is made by melting zinc and copper. So the zinc and copper are melted and mixed and forms brass. By compressing finely, finely divided metals, by compressing, putting, putting and compression to divide the metals. From the divided metals, you are putting a compression. That method is also example wood metal. So wood metal is an alloy of lead, tin, bismuth and cadmium. So it is an fusible alloy because so many elements are used here. Lead, tin, bismuth and cadmium powders are used to make this. So it is, this is called as an fusible alloy. So by compressing finely divided metals, they are making an alloy. Example is fusible alloy. This they make an ask in your one mark. Lead, tin, bismuth and cadmium. Next, alloys as solid solutions. So the alloys can be known as solid so solution. That is metal with high concentration is active. If you take a uh, for example, an alloy is a, a contain 100%. In that, there is alloy is a mixture of two metals. In that, one element is having high concentration and another element having low concentration. Okay. The high concentration metal is called solvent. And the low concentration metal is called solute. Okay. So, example, brass. So, the zinc is solute here because you are get, getting a small amount. So, the zinc is solute and copper is the solvent. So, solvent means, for example, the solvent is the water. While adding a small amount of a, a sugar, sugar, sugar in that water, now uh, that is, it is called a, so, that is, it is called a solution. So, solute plus solvent. So solute is the small substances sugar and the solvent is the water. If you add the solute sugar, solute example sugar is added in the water solvent uh, that is added and mixed it forms the sugar solution. Like that the zinc solute is added in copper solvent it forms solid solution called this brass. Okay. Types of alloys. Based on the presence of ions, the alloys can be divided into two types. Ferrous alloy, non-ferrous alloy. So ferrous alloy means iron is the major component. So at the most of the portion, the iron will be there. Example, stainless steel, nickel steel. So these are the alloys of iron. Non-ferrous alloy. So, they doesn't contain any iron, iron as the major component. So, if the iron is there, a major component, it is called ferrous alloy. If iron is absent there, then it is called non-ferrous alloy. Example, aluminium alloy and copper alloy. So, copper alloys, non-ferrous, some of the example, brass, copper and zinc, Cu and Z10. Electrical fittings, metals. Decorative items and hardware. These are so from this. This is you. This is made. That is electrical fittings, metals, decorative items, and hardware. Bronze, copper, and tin. Copper means Cu. Tin means Sn. These are the symbols for copper and tin. Statues, coins, bells, gongs are you. That is making from this bronze. Okay. Next, we move on to the aluminium alloys, which is non-ferrous. Alloys, uses. Duralum, aluminium, magnesium, manganese, copper. So, the combination of these metals forms the duralum. So, it is used in making aircrafts, tools, pressure cookers. Aircrafts, you know, aeroplanes, the tools items and the pressure cooker items are made from this duralum. Magnalum, aluminium and magnesium. So again, aircrafts, scientific instruments are ma made from magnalum. Next, we move on to the an iron alloy, the ferrous alloy, stainless steel. Iron, carbon, nickel, chromium. That is Fe, 
carbon C, nickel, Ni, C are chromium. So, F is iron, C is carbon, Ni nickel is Ni and C are is chromium. It is used for making utensils, cutleries and uh, atom, that is automobile parts. Nickel steel, F, E, iron, C, carbon, nickel, Ni. So, these... Uh, Nickel steel is used in the manufacture of cables, aircraft parts and propellers. So thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. Give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.